sorry if I'm video. That is it. We're here on our final training weekend. Um, it's just under two weeks until the United Nations Climate Change Conference starts. Okay, we're here in London and we're, we're here at our final training weekend as part of the UK YCC delegation. And we've just come together one last time to sort out logistics, um, get each other energised and excited and reassured before going to Durban or Brussels in Tom's case. Edinburgh, Leeds, London and Bath um, and we've really grown um, as I've met some really inspirational people, everyone's done their own personal stuff um, and yeah it's, it's been really good. It's been a fabulous eye-opening experience where we've met each other, grown as a group and we're one week away from going and we're ready for it. In UK YCC, part of what we bring is sort of passion and ruthless optimism when we go to uh, UN Climate Talks. And yeah, I'm trying to stay optimistic. I think I'm really excited about working with international youth, about just seeing what goes on. I am optimistic that we are going to make a difference, and that's the most important thing, so that whatever comes out of Durban, we can know that we played a part in somehow like changing things for the better. I think the voice of young people at the UN is really important because we're the ones who are going to be living with the consequences of climate change. Um, it's our future that we're talking about and we, we deserve to have a voice in the negotiations and we also bring a unique perspective to them. Uh, yeah, things could change drastically over the next three or four years and we could be looking at a milestone era right about now and it's this group of people that are deeply involved with the youth that, that are going to be a, a key component of that. Yeah,